Naughty tortoise. It is a lovely autumn day. Pepper and her friends are playing in the leaves. Look, it's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. What are you doing here? Tiddles. Tiddles. It is Dr Hamster, the vet. Here's Tiddles. Thank goodness you found him. Oh, naughty tortoise. Back in your box. It's your bedtime. It's not bedtime yet. It's bedtime for Tiddles. He sleeps all through the winter and wakes up in spring. That sounds nice. You like sleeping, don't you, Pedro? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Tiddles? Tiddles has run away. <gasps> Look, he's up that tree. Oh, Tiddles, I don't know why you like climbing trees. <sniffs> How are we going to rescue Tiddles? Chop the tree down. <laughs> no. I'll ring the fire brigade. Fire service? What's that? Tortoise up a tree? Again? We're on our way. Stand clear. Fire engines use ladders to rescue pets from trees. Come on, Tiddles. Tiddles is climbing higher in the tree. Come here, you little pickle. Mummy Cow is climbing into the tree. Be careful, Mummy Cow. Oh, dear. I'm stuck. Cows are not very good at climbing trees. Hang on. I'm coming up. Here, Tiddles. Oh! I'm stuck too. Elephants are not very good at climbing trees. Well, that didn't work, did it? <sniffs> what are we going to do now? Chop the tree down. No! no! I'll call the next rescue service. Hello! Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Hello? Tiddles the tortoise. He's up a tree. Tortoise up a tree? Again? I'll be right there. Hmm. <laughs> How do you get tortoises out of trees? Chop the tree down! Yes, let's chop the tree down. No! OK, I'll climb up instead. Hooray! <laughs> oh! I seem to be stuck. Dogs are not very good at climbing trees. Now can we chop the tree down? No. We'll have to call the highest rescue service in the land. OK, I'm on my way. It is Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Hello, everyone. Let's rescue this tortoise. Uh, who's flying your helicopter? Oops. Silly me. I'll just put the autopilot on. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Got you, you little rascal. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles. Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit, for saving my Tiddles. No problem, Mom. Thank, Thank you, you for saving, saving us, too. too. Just doing my job. Goodbye. Eh, uh, haven't you forgotten something? What? Oh, yes! My helicopter! <laughs> Goodbye, everyone! <laughs> Goodbye! What a naughty tortoise you are. <sighs> oh, good. You're sleepy now. Back in your box. Sleep well, Tiddles. Tiddles has gone to sleep for the winter. He will wake again in the springtime. Shh. <laughs> Spiderweb. Daddy Pig is hard at work in the study. Daddy Pig, this study is a complete mess. It's not that bad. There are lots of cobwebs. I love cobwebs. They give the room character. Cobwebs mean spiders, and I don't like spiders. I do. Spiders catch flies, and flies are horrid. 
Well, as long as I don't have to see a spider. Ah! A spider! Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh, where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr Skinny Legs. Mr Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh. I wonder where Mr Skinny Legs is. Ah! Oh, ho oh. ho. It sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK. We'll take Mr Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> now Mr Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> I don't want Mr Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. What is he doing? He's making a web, Pepper. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh! He's very busy. Yes. It's hard work building a web. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. Yes, Daddy. Bye-bye, <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs. It is bedtime. I liked watching Mr Skinny Legs make his web today. And tomorrow he'll make another web. Really? Yes. Mr Skinny Legs makes a new web every day. Where will the new web be, Daddy? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Good night. Night, night. <laughs> it is morning. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. I don't want to be late. I have an important meeting at the office. Daddy, you work very hard. Yes, I do. But not as hard as Mr Skinny Legs. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everyone. See you tonight. Stop, Daddy. What is it? You cannot drive the car today. Why not? Look. Mr Skinny Legs has built a web, joining the car to the house. <laughs> Daddy. You said you must never, ever break a web. Did I? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. If you move the car, you will break the web. But how am I going to get to work? Don't worry, Daddy. You can borrow my little bicycle. Here you are. Thank you, Peppa. Daddy Pig is riding Peppa's little bicycle. Have a nice ride to work. I will, Pepper. Bye. Bye. Ooh. Daddy Pig works very hard. <sighs> but Mr. Skinny Legs works even harder. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle's leaving party. It is home time at Pepper's playgroup. Children, next week there won't be any playgroup. What? Madam Gazelle. I am going away. Oh. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, Madam Gazelle. Pepper and George are home from playgroup. Mummy, there is no more playgroup. No more playgroup? Madam Gazelle is going away. I suppose she has been teaching a long time. Madam Gazelle taught all the mummies and daddies when they were children. Madam Gazelle taught me everything I know. Who can count to three? One, two, three. <laughs> Thinking about it, Madam Gazelle must be very old. Which is probably why she's decided to stop teaching. I know. 
We should give Madame Gazelle a leaving party. <laughs> that sounds fun. It is the day of Madame Gazelle's leaving party. Everyone has come to help. Pedro, you stay outside and tell us if Madame Gazelle's coming along. Why? We don't want Madame Gazelle catching us getting her party ready. Or it wouldn't be a surprise. OK. I hope we've invited everyone. What about Madame Gazelle's old friends? Wasn't she once in a pop group? That's right. She played guitar with the rocking gazelles. Hello, rocking gazelles. Hello, Madame Gazelle is leaving the playgroup. Gigi leaving? How sad. We're having a party. A party? What fun. We'll be there. Good. Everyone's coming. Now, let's make the party food. This is the playgroup kitchen. Everyone is helping with the party food. Emily Elephant and Wendy Wolf are decorating cupcakes. I'll do the icing. I will sprinkle the hundreds and thousands. <laughs> Pepper and George are making jelly. Wobbly jelly. <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> Pedro Pony is outside keeping guard. Here comes Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle is coming. We're not ready. Stop her, Pedro. OK. Hello, Pedro. You're early for playgroup? Yes. Don't go inside. Why not? It's a nice day out here, isn't it? Uh, yes, Pedro. Can I go inside now? Uh, no. It's against the law. What are you talking about, Pedro? We're ready. You can go in now. Surprise! For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. And I shall say all of us. Hooray! Here is a present for you an antique clock. Ooh! It's made of solid plastic. Thank you. But why is there a party for me? Everyone wanted to thank you for being the best teacher in the world. So, we've made you a leaving party. Because you're going away forever. I'm not going away forever. But you said there was no more playgroup. Oh, Pepper. All I said was no playgroup next week. I'm going on holiday. Oh! <gasps> I will be teaching for many years to come. Who else could be the teacher? No one! I'm very happy Madame Gazelle is not leaving. Yes, and I can't think of a better reason for a party. And every party needs music. <gasps> oh, oh, the rocking gazelles! Hello, Gigi. Have you still got your guitar? <laughs> of course. Let's uh, rock a rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Grandpa Pig's train to the rescue. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George for a ride on his little train, Gertrude. I love Gertrude the train. And the good thing is, Gertrude has rubber wheels, so we don't have to go on train tracks. We can go wherever we like. <laughs> Grandpa's little train goes choo 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 choo. Grandpa's little train goes choo 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 all day long. <laughs> 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 Miss Rabbit is taking the grown-ups to work in her big train. Morning, Grandpa Pig. Out on your toy train again. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive. Oh, that's nice. Bye! Go faster, Grandpa Pig. I can't. This is as fast as Gertrude goes. The big train is going very fast. Oh, dear. The big train has broken down. What's happening? We need to get to work. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Having trouble with your train? <laughs> it's not funny, Grandpa Pig. 
All of my passengers need to get to work. You need to get yourself a train that doesn't break down, like Gertrude. <laughs> That's a good idea. Out you get. What? I'm borrowing your train. I'll change. But what am I going to do? You can stay here and mend the big train. Righto. I do like mending things. Oh, what fun. Riding a toy train. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive. Of course. All aboard the toy train. <laughs> Can't it go any faster? No. Gertrude is a slow train. Mrs Cow is waiting for the train at the next station. What's happened to the big train? Has it shrunk? No, this is a toy train. Gertrude is not a toy train. She is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. Grandpa Pig loves mending things. So many interesting bits and bobs. Oh, dear! A traffic jam! Gertrude can ride on the grass. Of course! Bye, everyone! Miss Rabbit is taking a shortcut. Past the duck pond... Hello, ducks! <laughs> up the hill... Come on, Gertrude! You can make it! ..and to the next station. Hello! <laughs> Where's the big train? The big train is broken. We're riding Grandpa Pig's toy train today. Gertrude is not a toy train. She, she is, is a, a miniature locomotive. locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> next stop, the end of the line. This goes here and that goes there. Grandpa Pig has mended the big train. Good as new. Last stop! Now you can all do your important work. Hang on. It's taken us so long to get here, it's home time. Oh, back we go then. But if we travel on Gertrude, it will take ages to get home. Hello, everyone. I've mended the big train. Excellent, Grandpa Pig. All change. Off we go! Stop! What about Gertrude? We can't leave her behind. Yes! Gertrude! Don't worry. We can take the toy train as well. Gertrude is not a toy. We know. She is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Gertrude is the best train in the whole world. <laughs> the new house. Daddy Pig is working hard in his workroom. What are you doing, Daddy? I'm building a new house. It's very small. Is it a house for elves and fairies? Oh, no. This is a model. The real house will be much bigger. Ah. And this is a drawing of what needs to be built. I think something is missing, Daddy. There. Pepper has drawn a swing to go outside the house. Perfect. Would you like to visit the new house? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is taking Pepper and George to see the house he is building. Here we are! But, Daddy, there's nothing here. That's because the building work hasn't started yet. Digger! Digger! <laughs> here are Mr Bull and his friends. Mr Bull has come to build the new house. Aren't you building it, Daddy? I've done the hard bit. Mr Bull just has to follow my instructions. Mm. Hello, Mr Pig. What's it to be? Car park? Swimming pool? Rocket station? A house. Can you build it exactly like this, please? But bigger. Mr Pig wants a house. Is it going to be built of straw? Or stakes? Or bricks, Mr Pig? Bricks, please. Good choice. Don't forget the swing. Don't worry, Pepper. We won't. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help? <laughs> George wants to help too. Okay, George. 
could you put a blob of mortar here? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like squelchy mud. Mortar is a very special kind of mud that sticks bricks together. <gasps> Pepper, would you like to lay the first brick? <laughs> yes, please. Well done. I'll do the rest. Bricks must be laid straight and level. See? Line after line. That will take ages. Yes. Will you finish it today? Oh, no. You can't build a house in a day. It'll be finished tomorrow. Good. See you tomorrow, Mr Bull. Bye-bye. Bye. George put the sticky mud down and I put the brick on top. Mm. That all sounds very exciting. Now, close your eyes and go to sleep. <laughs> it is morning. Peppa and George cannot wait to see the new house. It's finished! <laughs> Almost finished. It just needs to be inspected. Mr Rabbit is the building inspector. Hmm. Very good. But wait, it's not finished. What? You forgot the swing. Moo! Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Now it's all ready for our new neighbours to move in. Neighbours? Yes, Peppa. We've got new neighbours. Mr Wolf and his family are moving into their new home. Oh, look! Little piggies. Hello, I'm Wendy Wolf. I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> Thank you for building our house, Mr Pig. What's it made of? Straw? Sticks? It's made of bricks. Let's see how strong it is. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll... Hmm, that is strong. What's your own house made of, Mr Pig? Bricks. So don't even think about it. Oh, a swing. That was my idea. It's very good. You have a go. Can you push me? No. I'll huff and puff you instead. <gasps> <laughs> Lost keys. Pepper and her family have been for a lovely day out in the mountains. Time to go home. Back to the car. Thank you for visiting the mountain beauty spot. See you again soon. <coughs> no, George. You can't play with the car keys. You might lose them. <coughs> You're playing with the car keys, Daddy. But I'm a grown-up. I'm not going to lose them. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has dropped the car keys down a drain. Oh. oh. Right. Let's go home. Um, that might be difficult. Why? Daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, Daddy Pig. Don't worry. I'll get the keys out of the drain with a stick. Hooray! Hmm. The drain must be deeper than I thought. The stick is not long enough to reach the keys. What we need is a fishing rod. Then we can catch the keys on a hook. Maybe Miss Rabbit sells fishing rods. Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish. We're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, you'll never get those back. That drain's really deep. What are drains for? A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. <coughs> the fishing line is not long enough to reach the keys. My goodness! How deep is this drain? We can see how deep it is by dropping a stone. Good idea, Miss Rabbit. We can count how long the stone takes to reach the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is deep. Told you. What can we do now? It is Mr Bull and his friends. Bigger! Crane! 
George loves diggers and cranes. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Bull. Bull. Welcome to the Mountain Beauty Spot. Have you come to do some work? No. It's our day off, so we came to enjoy the beauty spot. You can see for miles, boss. Yes, it's very pretty. Uh, Mr Bull, could we borrow your crane for a minute? What for? My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Say no more. I'll have them out in no time. Mr Rhino, the crane, please. Stand clear. Down she goes. How lucky Mr Bull came along when he did. Yes, now we'll finally get our keys back. That's as far as she goes, Chief. Mr Bull is the Chief. Did you find our keys? No. <gasps> the crane isn't long enough. Now what shall we do? Easy. We'll dig up the road. Hooray! <laughs> Mr. Bull is digging up the beauty spot. Stop! What's going on? We came to see the beauty spot. Uh, they're digging it up right now. Won't be long. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh! oh. Hold it! Hold it! It's the keys! We've got them! Hooray! There you go! Thank you, Mr. Bull. Oh, it was nothing. Uh, where's the beauty spot gone? The mountain beauty spot is now a big hole. It's a cave now. Welcome to the cave beauty spot. Ooh. All thanks to my daddy. Uh, and Mr Bull. Yes, I'm good at digging holes. Mr Bull loves digging holes. <laughs> Everybody loves digging holes. <laughs> Kylie Kangaroo. It is a lovely sunny day. Mr and Mrs Kangaroo have come to visit. Hello. G'day, Mr Pig. We met at the airport, remember? Um... It was a while back. You said we could visit any time. Did I? Yeah. Since we last saw you, we've had Kylie and Joey. Say hello, kids. Hello, I'm Kylie Kangaroo. I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> and this is my little brother, George. <coughs> this is my little brother, Joey. <laughs> Joey lives in Mummy Kangaroo's pocket. <laughs> it's thirsty work, this travelling around. Would you like a drink? Yes, please. Lemonade. My favourite. Mmm, that's lovely. Here, sit down. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. No worries. We'll make lunch. Mr Kangaroo is going to cook lunch on a barbecue. Corn on the cob, anyone? Yummy. Yummy. We should do this at our house. Hang on. This is our house. Come on, Kylie. Let's play in the garden. We can play my favourite game, jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I like jumping too. First we have to find a puddle. Oh, there aren't any muddy puddles. The ground is too dry for muddy puddles. I wish it would rain. I hope it doesn't rain. Oh, we love rain. We don't see much of it back home. Well, if you want to make it rain in this country, have a barbecue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can still do jumping. George is quite good at jumping, but I am the best. Watch this. That's how you do it. Now you try, Kylie. OK. Kangaroos can jump very high. Wow. Here is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. This is my friend, Kylie. Hello, Kylie. Squeak. Are you playing a game? We are jumping. Rabbits are the best at jumping. Watch this. Well done, Rebecca. But that's not as good as my friend Kylie. Go on, do your jump. I don't want to show off. Do it. OK. That is high. 
<laughs> Kylie Kangaroo is the best at jumping. Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Nay. Hello, Pedro. This is my friend, Kylie Kangaroo. She's my friend. She can jump higher than anyone. No one can jump higher than me or my super space hopper. Show him, Kylie. But Pedro did really well. Do it. OK. Wow! Kylie Kangaroo is the best at jumping. I could jump higher, but I'm a little bit tired. Ugh! What was that? It is raining. Like I said, if you want it to rain, start a barbecue. I'm afraid we'll all have to go indoors. What? And miss the rain? <laughs> <laughs> Mr Kangaroo has got a big umbrella to shelter everyone from the rain. Food's ready. Who's hungry? Me! Me! Mmm, yummy! Peppa likes corn on the cob. <laughs> everyone likes corn on the cob. It stopped raining. The rain makes everything so fresh and green. And wet. And muddy! <laughs> <laughs> this is how you jump in muddy puddles. Wow, that looks fun. <laughs> I'm the best at jumping, but Peppa's the best at jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper in George's garden. Daddy Pig is sitting in his favourite sunny spot. Ah, what a perfect day for doing nothing. Daddy Pig loves doing nothing. How could this be better? I know, a cup of tea. Grandpa Pig has come to see Pepper and George. Grandpa Pig! Grandpa Pig! Hello, Pepper and George. You're going to have your very own flower garden. Ooh, a garden for George and me. I've got a packet of flower seeds for each of you. <laughs> now, we need a nice sunny spot to plant your seeds. Here we are. Grandpa Pig is digging Pepper and George's garden. Oh. Ah, tea for the workers. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Uh, what's going on? We're making a flower garden. Do we need a flower garden? Yes. yes! But that's where I sit in my chair. There are more important things than chairs, Daddy Pig. But I always read my newspaper here. There are more important things than newspapers, Daddy Pig. Yes, like flowers. Look, Daddy. <laughs> Pepper has lots of flower seeds. George only has one flower seed. Oh. But it is quite a big seed. <laughs> <laughs> Could you fetch us some water, Daddy Pig? Hmm. OK. Seeds need water to grow. They get very thirsty. Some little birds have come to watch. Don't let the birds eat the seeds, Peppa. Shoo! Shoo! Fly away, birdies! Here's the water. Daddy scared the birds away. Oh, ho, ho. Daddy Pig looks like a scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, George, bath time. Oh, but what if the birdies come back? Don't worry, Pepper. I'll make sure the birds don't eat the seeds. Thank you, Daddy. Good luck, Daddy Pig. See you tomorrow. Bye. Ah, this is nice. Daddy, you have to be the scarecrow. What? Oh, shoo, shoo, naughty birds. Now, stay there until the birdies go to bed. Oh, oh. Okay, Pepper. All the birdies have gone to bed. Daddy Pig can go inside now. It is morning. George, let's look at our flower garden. <laughs> Ooh, baby plants. Morning. Ah, your plants have started to grow. Soon they'll have flowers on them. A little snail has come to take a look. Oh, dear. Snails like eating plants. Grandpa.
Grandpa Pig, can you take Barbara to your garden? Um, OK. I'll take care of Barbara. It is one week later. Peppa, George, come and look. My flowers! They're so pretty. And look at George's plant. It's a beanstalk. And it goes all the way up to a giant's castle. Oh, oh no, Peppa. But it does go quite high. George's flower is taller than our house. Oh, ho, ho. George has grown a sunflower. Well done, George. <laughs> I love our flower garden. Now let's make you a vegetable garden. But that's where I sit in my chair. There are more important things than chairs. Daddy Pig. Like tomatoes, carrots and potatoes. I do like a nice potato. Daddy Pig loves potatoes. <laughs> Everyone loves potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park. Today is Freddy Fox's birthday and all the children are going on a big adventure. Where are we going for your birthday, Freddy? I don't know. But I can't wait to get there. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park. Ooh, dinosaur. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Are there really dinosaurs here? No, just pretend ones. For you. Real dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. Edmund knows a lot about dinosaurs. He is a clever clogs. But we've got better than real dinosaurs. We've got singing dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs. Listen to us <laughs> They're a bit small. Yes. Aren't dinosaurs meant to be big? Ah, oh, yes. We do have a big dinosaur. A real whopper. Uh, would you like to meet it? Yes, yes, please. These are its footprints. We just have to follow them. Ooh. These footprints look very real. Are you sure there's no living dinosaurs about, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, quite sure, Daddy Pig. Over the boulders, everyone! <laughs> Across the bridge! <laughs> Through the cave! <laughs> oh, the footprints have stopped. Look! There are some green steps. It's a big slide! Whee! Yes, it's my whopping ginormous dinosaur slide! Ah! That is some dinosaur. He's a brontosaurus! Actually, the correct name is a patasaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit! We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxes love hunting for eggs. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Wow! What an egg! It's huge! Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg. Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend. Watch this. <laughs> the dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it. 
It's not a pretend cake, is it, Grumpy Rabbit? No, the cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! Me! Me. Birthday boy first. Here you go, Freddy. Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> Time for a bit of song and dance. Everyone, copy me. Do the stomp, do the dinosaur stomp, do the roar. The dinosaur roar! Stomp, stomp, stomp! Roar, roar, roar! Do the dinosaur stomp! Stomp, roar! <laughs> <laughs> this is my best birthday ever! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Rabbit Bump! Peppa and George are playing with Susie Sheep and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Here are Rebecca and Richard Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. Squeak! I've got a secret. What is it? My mummy's got a bump in her tummy. Ooh! Has she eaten too much? No. There's a baby rabbit inside. Mummy Rabbit? Is there really a baby rabbit in your tummy? Yes. Would you like to listen to it? Yes, please. Can you hear a little heartbeat? Yes, I can. It's going boom, boom, boom. Oh, it just moved. Yes, sometimes babies give a little kick. Nay. What will you call it? I don't know. Would you children like to think of a name? Yes, please. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. <coughs> Would you like a cup of coffee? I can't have coffee. I am quite hungry. Would you like a carrot? I'm a bit off carrots. Have you got any potatoes? Yes, we do. Maybe a potato with jelly and cheese and strawberry jam, please. Yeah. <laughs> a potato with jelly, cheese and strawberry jam? What a funny mixture of food. We need to think of a name for the baby. Yes. If the baby is a girl, she'll be called Rachel Rabbit. Or how? About Ruth Rabbit, Roxanne Rabbit, Sharon Rabbit. I don't think so, Pedro. Sharon Rabbit sounds wrong. I like Rosie, Rosie Rabbit. <laughs> it's perfect. But what if the baby is a boy? Oh, how about Rufus Rabbit, Raymond Rabbit, Michael Rabbit, Michael Rabbit. No! Robbie Rabbit. Yes, Robbie Rabbit. Thank you for the potatoes with jelly, cheese and strawberry jam, Mummy Pig. My pleasure. We thought of a name for the baby. Rosie if it's a girl and Robbie if it's a boy. They're lovely names. It's sad that the baby can't have both names. Oh, my tummy! It's all that funny food you've been eating. I don't think so, Daddy Rabbit. The baby is coming. Right, to the hospital. Quickly now, don't panic. Bye. 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 Good luck. Did you pack everything on the list? I've got it all. Pillows, scented candles, yoga music, and enough food for three days. <laughs> don't panic, don't panic. Anyone in? We are having a rabbit. Hello, sister. What are you doing here? I'm having a baby, remember? Oh, yes. You better come inside then. Can I come too? Moo! You'll have to park the car first. Don't worry. Having a baby always takes a long time. Out of the way, everyone! My sister's having a baby! A kettle and plenty of towels. This lot should last us a good few days. Oh, where shall I put all this stuff? Back in the car. We don't need it now. What? Daddy, you missed all the excitement. Have I? Is it a boy or a girl? Both. <coughs> We've got baby twins. Wow. It is the next day and Mummy Rabbit is home from hospital. Hello. Can we see the twins, please? Of course, Peppa. <coughs> oh. Are they 
boys or girls? They're both. A boy and a girl. They're called Rosie and Robbie. So you did use both names? Yes. <laughs> Rosie Rabbit and Robbie Rabbit. They're the best names in the world. And we thought of them. <laughs> <laughs> International Day. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. They are dressed up in costumes from different countries. Today is International Day, when we celebrate all the countries of the world. Hooray! Pepper is dressed as France. I'm France. George is Russia. <laughs> Pedro is America. Yeehaw! Zoe is Japan. Konnichiwa! Susie is Holland. Hello! Dutch for hello! <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, what do all the countries of the world do? They sing the Song of Harmony together. Hooray! I like singing. So do I. Does everyone remember the words? Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Peace and harmony. And later, we will sing that for your mummies and daddies. It is playtime. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. Play nicely together. All the countries are playing in the playground. <laughs> the United Kingdom is on the slide. Whee! France and Switzerland are on the swings. <laughs> Germany is playing hopscotch. One, two, three... America, Russia, Spain and Greece are in the sandpit. <laughs> I'm building a big sandcastle. <laughs> Yeehaw! Here are Holland and Japan. Ahem. Now it's our turn in the sandpit. Why? Because you've had your turn. You can play on the slide now. But we want to play here. <laughs> oh, dear. There is not enough room in the sandpit for more than four countries. <laughs> What's going on? It's our turn in the sandpit. But we were here first. Is Susie being a bit bossy? George started it. Leave George alone. He's only little. <coughs> hello, hello, hello. What's all this noise about, then? Nay. They're trying to push us out of the sandpit. No, we're not. Yes, you are. George started it. That's That's nice. Nice. Oh, dear. The countries of the world are not playing nicely together. Peace and harmony in all the... Wo what's that noise? Oh, no. The countries are fighting. We can't play in the sandpit. Yes, we can. It's not no, fair. No, 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 no. Stop arguing. <laughs> Susie, you're always telling people what to do. No, I am not. Children, children. What is happening? <laughs> America, Russia, Spain and Greece won't share the sand pit. <laughs> Holland is being bossy. You're the bossy one. That is enough. Is this how you think the countries of the world behave? Um, don't they? Of course not. Sorry, Sorry Madame Gazelle. Gazelle. <laughs> Hello. All the parents have arrived. How is International Day going? Uh, not too bad. Excellent. <laughs> Lovely. We will now sing for you the Song of Harmony. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony. Hooray! What a Wonderful display of togetherness. <laughs> Pepper and her friends love singing together in harmony. All the countries of the world love singing together in harmony. The wishing well. Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George around his garden. 
Here are my cabbages, broccoli and sprouts. Ooh. Potatoes, carrots and beetroots live here. And over there is the fruit. What is this, Grandpa? That, Pepper, is a weed. What is a weed? A weed is a cheeky plant growing in the wrong spot. Oh. Pull it out and throw it in this bucket. There's no room for weeds in my tidy garden. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is very proud of his garden. Maybe there is room to grow a little strawberry here. In the middle of my carrots? No, Peppa. Strawberries belong with a fruit. Everything has its place. Isn't that right, Granny Pig? Yes, Grandpa. Can we find a little place for this? Uh... No. What is it, Granny? It's a plastic gnome, Pepper, and he's going to live in our garden. Oh, no, he isn't. There's no room. There's plenty of room. What about here? I can't have that ugly thing looking at me all day. Pepper, George, do you think my gnome looks ugly? No, Granny. I think he looks cute. <laughs> there, Grandpa. You're outnumbered. The gnome stays. Ah! And here come the rest of them. What? Mr Bull is bringing Mr Gnome a truckload of new friends. Yippee! But gardens are for plants, not plastic. Moo! Where do you want the gnomes? We don't want gnomes, thank you. Oh! Goodbye. Naughty Grandpa Pig. Those are Granny Pig's gnomes. Oh, it appears we do want gnomes. Okie dokie! They're lovely! There's this as well. Cheerio! Thank you, Mr. Ball. Goodbye. Bye-bye. What's this? A giant gnome? No, Grandpa. It's a well. What is a well? A well, Pepper, is a very deep hole with water in it. Ooh. And as it happens, I do need water for my garden, so a well will be useful. But that is not a well. It's made of plastic and there's no hole. It's beautiful. What's the point of a well without water? It's a wishing well. You throw a coin into it and make a wish. Can I make a wish, Granny? Of course, Pepper. Here's a little coin. I wish, I wish, I wish. Oh, don't tell us what you're wishing for. OK. Finished! Very good. Granny, do the wishes always come true? Yes. Oh, goody. But now it's time for Grandpa to take you home. Bye-bye, Granny. Bye-bye. Goodbye, my little ones. Grandpa, you are very lucky having a wishing well in your garden. Do you think so, Peppa? Yes. You can wish for things whenever you want. Hmm. And the wishes always come true, because Granny Pig said so. Yes. Do you want to know what I wished for, Grandpa? What did you wish for, Peppa? I wish that I could have a wishing well and gnomes in my garden. Oh, well, I think we can do that. Peppa and George have arrived home. Mummy, Daddy, I made a wish and it came true. Really? What did you wish for, Peppa? Lots of gnomes and a wishing well for our garden. <sighs> oh. Uh, Grandpa Pig, I don't think we have enough room. Nonsense! You've got plenty of room. <laughs> uh, yes. I suppose so. <laughs> Pepper and George love gnomes and wishing wells. Everybody loves gnomes and wishing wells.